Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Maswire here. As you may have noticed, we have reached a milestone. After several months, uh, we have actually got to more than a hundred subscribers. Did I ever think we were gonna get this big? Did I ever think I was gonna be this famous? Pretty much, yes, obviously I was gonna be this famous. Anyway, as you can probably tell, I'm on tour. I'm currently at Heathrow Airport, gonna fly out to Nigeria to so meet some of my fans. But I don't want you to miss any maths because uh, we've got some quad goals to deal with here. So you should all have this worksheet in front of you. You can see it's beautiful. It's not just any type of graphs, it's quadratic graphs. It's not just any type of quadratic graphs, it's MNS exclusive quadratic graphs. We're going to be plotting these points together. Um, you guys are going to finish off a bit towards the end. Then I am going to get you to do some revision on quadratics. Um, a special shout out to Miss HB for covering this lesson unless there's been a last minute change and you know shout out to whoever is um covering me um just want to say uh well done well done Wani, for um your excellent example exemplary behavior this lesson so far um and it's just first warning to you eva please stop talking over me right so what we need to do is we're going to do um graph one first all of these graphs, as you have figured out, are quadratic, just like the graphs I showed you last lesson. And what we're going to do is fill out the table. So you can either pause the video here or you can just carry on watching as the first example. Okay, so what you can see here is the graph is x squared plus 3. So um, my x values have been given to me and luckily for you, I've drawn out the grid for you as well. So all we have to do is substitute these x values into that graph, into that equation, and then we'll have our coordinates. So if x is negative 3, we know that negative 3 squared will be negative 3 times negative 3, which gives me positive 9. So the number one mistake that you can make when you're substituting stuff into graphs is, is uh, negative numbers. You're just going to get them mixed up. If you use your calculator, you'll notice I use brackets around here. Otherwise, your calculator can't do bid mass. So it will do, um, it'll do it in the wrong order. So in this case, you can probably do these in your head along with me. So negative 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. And then negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 0 squared is just 0. Plus 3 is 3. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Now I showed you last lesson that when you, you have a quadratic, it's going to be some type of U shape which means that you will have values that will start to repeat. Once you find the minimum point of the curve, is the va some of these values will be uh, symmetrical. So in this case, you can actually see the 3 is going to be the lowest value here. And I'm expecting that I'm going to get a 7 here because I've got 4, 3, 4, and in that 7, there'll be another 7 here. So let's see if we get that. 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, so that works out. And then 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. So we have our values here. What we're going to do now is plot these. Now you have to plot these in a very specific way. You can see that um, the first coordinate we're going to plot is negative 3, 12. So you go to your origin there. And then you're going to go to negative 3, which is here. And then up to 12. You must do a cross. Do not do a dot like that. The exam scanning, uh, the scanners can't see dots or they might miss them. So you have to do a, a clear cross and then I've got negative 2, 7. So you guys should be following along here. I've got 0, 3 and I've got 1, 4 which is here. Oh, I've missed one out. So it's got negative 1, 4. I've got 1, 4. 2, 7, and then finally 3, 12. So you can see your shape here. Now with this bit, once you have 
if you're asked to plot a graph, you obviously need to connect these dots up. Do not use a ruler like this. Your graphs are not straight lines, okay? You don't want to do that. So if you see a graph that looks like this, it's not a quadratic. I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's not a quadratic. So you have to now do a smooth curve. Uh, what you can do is you can either just turn your sheet around so that is nice You can just kind of guide your pencil and obviously you're all using pencils I assume if you're not using pencils just you just need to get out and you're in, it's not acceptable. So you use your pencil um, One tip is to when you're sketching your curve is to just look at the next three points that you're you're um, guiding your pencil towards and then move along there what type of mistakes I, I want to avoid is as I said the first one is just using ruler to connect the dots it's not connect the dots it's a smooth curve the second thing is people get the base uh, the minimum point here so you can see 0 3 they miss that so if you have for example I'll do an example here let's just say this is your quadratic curve uh, sometimes people would do this it seems silly, but it does happen. And another thing that people do is they do this and then they go way beyond and it just, you can see that that's more of a V shape. Doesn't work, doesn't look right. So you want to do a smooth curve. I'll try to do one on the screen here, but this is what it should look like. Oh, that didn't work. Let me try that again. This is what you should be aiming for and it should go through all the points I can't really do it on the screen exactly, but you can figure out how to do it smoothly. So it should look like that. Another thing is this graph doesn't stop at 312. It goes on. So this line needs to keep going on forever. So any square window that you're given, so in this case, this is the window, uh, you need to make sure the line extends all the way out. So that's graph one. Here you're going to look at graph two. Uh, here's a sketch I did earlier, which is a bit neater, and you can see that's what it should look like. So here's graph 2 with the equation given. I want you guys to have a go at plotting this graph. You can pause the video and then you can play it in a second. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answers for this. So you have x squared plus x. So negative 3 squared is 9. 9 plus negative 3 is going to be uh, 6. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus negative 2 is 2. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0. 0 plus 0 is just 0. That tells us that the minimum point is somewhere in between those two points. And you'll see that when I plot this. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now we can see it's going to be symmetrical. So I'm expecting a 6. So 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. That's correct. And then 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. You're going to plot your points. Negative 3, 6. So that's your first point there, your coordinate. Negative 2, 2 is your second coordinate. Negative 1, 0. And then we have 0, 0. We have 1, 2. We have 2, 6. And we have 3, 12. Okay, so you should have plotted all of those points. Now, what you'll notice is You've got two points at the bottom. So again, I'll just sketch it out on the side. We basically have ended up with a situation like this, where you have a bunch of points, but actually these two points are side by side. So in this case, that's what I'm talking about there. So what can we do? Well, this tells us that there is a point in between these two, which is a bit lower than uh, than the other than the two that are side by side so we have to just either we can work it out and you don't really have to be honest you don't need to do the working out for that or you can just roughly sketch it 
So in this case, I'm going to roughly sketch it on the screen. So just connecting the dot, the coordinates, and you can see my graph. My graph is going to go lower than those two points. And that's not very well drawn there, but I have a nice one coming up on the next slide of what it should look like. So this is a, a slightly nicer sketch, and remember that line needs to go on forever, so that, that line should go off like that. This is what you should have on your second graph. Um, now in terms of exploring this, you can see that when I have this graph here, thinking back to last lesson, if I want to factorise this, this x squared plus x, well, what's the common factor? Well, x is a common factor, and then I get x plus 1. Now, this here is basically in its own bracket. Now, if I said to you this is equal to 0, it's now an equation we can solve. Now, remember, we said that y is 0. Well, on our graph, we can see this is our y-axis y is going to be 0 along this line here. So this is telling us that x equals 0 or x equals, uh, sorry, z, um, x plus 1 equals 0. Yeah, or in other words, x equals negative 1. And our graph is actually showing that. There's x equals negative 1 and there's x equals 0. Those are the solutions to the quadratic. I'm just going to go back to here. That doesn't have solutions. Okay, so question three. Pause the video here. Be careful with substitution, especially with negatives. Um, and then press play once you have all had a go. And Miss HB can smash that play button. Okay, so you should have had a go at plotting these. We are going to... We're going to work out all the missing values. In fact, I have the answers for this. So you sh these are the answers you should get. And your graph, remember, does go on. Tick it all. If it's correct, just put a tick at the end. Uh, make any corrections. Now, when you're plotting your graph, if, for example, you end up with something like this, You know, you can see that your curve should look like that. You can see that you've gone wrong. So it's just a clue. If, you, if one of your coordinates is not in the right place, it doesn't look right, you've probably made an error with the signs. So that's graph three. And I want you to do graph four. And then we'll do some more practice. So have a go with that. I'm actually going to work through it now live, although you should be working ahead of me. So you don't need to pause the video, but I'll just do some working out slowly um, so you can actually have a go. Eva, stop talking, please. That's the second warning. Okay, so that's for the first coordinate. Hopefully you are working ahead of me here.
Okay, so these are my points. I'm going to put them on the curve. And here is your solution to your graph. That line should be extended out. Okay, so your nice smooth curve. Please mark your work if you have done that. Um, so it should all be correct. Okay, so now we're going to do a quick overview of quadratics. So as you know, we call these our quad goals. So far, we know that quadratics they take this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And if it's an equation, then you can make it equal zero. And you can always make it equal zero because you can move everything to one side. Remember that a cannot be equal to zero. Um, and then we, we looked at factorizing. Okay, so we know some, for example, x minus two, x minus three. Um, then we looked at factorizing to solve a quadratic. So we know how to factorize. If it becomes an equation, we can then in this case say x equals two, positive two, or x equals positive three. The second thing we looked at is completing the square. So for example, um, x squ squared plus 6x, I know that's the popular one I've always used, isn't it? Uh, x squared plus 6x plus 2, uh, that will become x plus 3, all squared, take away, um, take away 9, because it's take away 3 squared, plus 2, and that becomes x plus 3, uh, negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Okay, and in this case, again, if it's an equation, we can just make it equal to 0. And then we can solve it. In this case, to solve it, we add 7 to both sides. So we have x plus 3, all squared, equals 7. You then square root it, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. You square root both sides. So then you get x plus 3 equals plus positive or negative root 7. And then you take away 3 from both sides. So our solution is x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 7. There's actually two solutions in one because of the plus and minus sign. Um, the other way we looked at solving quadratics is using the quadratic formula. So I just write QF there, quadratic formula. So we know that the formula is, you can say this with me guys, as negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Yes. Thank you for saying that with me. Very good. Um, so then in this case, you substitute numbers in. Now I've done that a lot in lessons, so I'm not going to go over that again with you now. The final thing that we've been looking at is graphs. Now I haven't shown you how to solve these yet, but you now know how to plot them. So that's step one of being able to solve them. But essentially what you're looking for is where it crosses the x-axis. So for the rest of the lesson, there's two things you're going to be doing. The first thing is there's, there's a second worksheet and this is the second worksheet. So you can see it's got, um, it's actually got six questions on it. So you can see that's part one and there's part two. What you're going to do is fill out the tables just to, just so you're not confused. The tables match with the graph that's to the left or right of it, not the one above it. So this is how the tables work. Uh, you are going to factorize them if you can. Some of these are not fact. Some of these quadratics you can't factorize. Okay. Um, the last two you may or may not be able to factorize. Um, you're going to plot the points, so it should look something like that. There might be an upside down graph uh, as well. And then 
Uh, where it says intercepts root solutions, we're going to look at that tomorrow. After you have done that, you have an exercise from the textbook, uh, which Miss will put on the board for you. Other than that, special shout out to Miss HB. Um, she's so busy, she's got like 30,000 projects to mark before the end of the month somehow, but she's going to be able to do that hopefully. So she's got loads of work to do. You guys need to all be quiet, make sure you work from the textbook. Um, you are allowed to help each other out if you need to help. But the, the work I'm going to set is basically practicing solving quadratics using the methods I've just shown you. So you can either factorize, you can complete the square, or you can use quadratic formula. The answers are in the back of the textbook. You're going to be expected to mark everything. So five or six minutes before the lesson, someone should remind the class or, or just ask Miss to remind the class to uh, mark your work. There's no point in doing the work if you're not going to mark it. Um, hopefully I'll be back from my tour. Me and my squad are on tour, so uh, my luggage hopefully they won't lose it. Uh, and then I'll be back. I'll make sure I bring something from Nigeria for you guys. Other than that, just need to say one more thing. Uh, Miss HB, could you just smash that like button? I'm just going to wait while you do that. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, and that second thing, uh, Eva, there's a second warning. That is not, not good enough. Uh, and then third thing, leave a comment, check out my Patreon. Um, Hit that bell icon and I'll see you guys for some fab content next time. Peace.